What's up guys, it's your boy Eugene here, and today I have a treat for you. I'm going to show you my setup for when I go to Comic-Con conventions or any kind of portable on location shoots. After this, intro. Guys, it's your boy Eugene, and today we're going to get into my portable lighting setup for shooting photography at a Comic Con convention. Let's get into it. I want to preface this video by first saying this wasn't my original idea. You know, there are several different setups out there that are kind of similar to this, but I'm just showing you guys my particular setup. Of course, everything I talk about in this video will be down in the description. So make sure to click those links because that does help out the channel. Now the first thing that I find that has been very, very convenient for me when shooting Comic Con convention is being able to put it on wheels. So finding some sort of folding wagon will definitely help you in being portable when it comes to taking floor portraits out on the Comic Con floor. The next setup a light stand, something to mount your light onto. So the light stand I'm using now is from Newer or Nower or however you pronounce it, but it is actually a stainless steel light stand instead of the cheaper aluminum light stand that you may find for, well, relatively cheap. The next thing, you're gonna need a light. So there are many different lights you can go get. You can get a, a speed light, which is a nice small compact light. Usually most people mount them on top of their cameras, but I like to use a mono light, get a little bit more power, and I can really, really blow out the background because convention floors, they are very crowded, there's a lot of people, and if you're taking a floor portrait of a cosplay, then you don't really want to get the crowd in that. So high speed sync, definitely a must on this. So the light that I'm using is the Flashpoint Explore 400 Pro. The main reason why I like it is because it is smaller than say your 600 Pro, and get a little bit more power than you would on the, on the 200s. The next thing you're gonna need is a modifier. And the Flashpoint Explorer Pro, another reason why I got it is because it is a Bowens mount modifier. So what I have here is a Godox 36 inch parabolic Octabox for this Explore 400. And it gives me amazing light, amazing fall off to be able to isolate my subject now let's talk about rigging this thing up. I like to set this light stand in here like this. And when you, when you spread your legs, you wanna make sure that they go all the way out to the edges here so you know it's in there really good, like so. The next thing you're gonna need is sandbags. These, um, not sure the price, but I will leave links to these. Um, in the description, you can get them on Amazon for sure. Just fill them with sand. I like to put them over the little anchor points here at the bottom of these legs here. So they go in like this. My other one here, I usually run with two of these here. And I put it in like this, and that'll keep that from rocking forward. And that's another thing. So how I set up my light stand, I like to put one leg directly towards the front so it's in line with the handle here. Not sure if you can see that or not, but yeah, there's a handle here. So yeah, this leg is in line with the handle here. So when you are pulling, you know, you're not gonna have any kind of tip over, at least when you're going that way. Um, yeah, anyways, securing this even more, I have bungee cords here. These are 24 inch bungee cords. Uh, what I like to do, these will go right around the legs like this, right around there. What I'll do is I'll go all the way underneath and hook it to the bottom of the frame of the wagon there. I'll do the same with the other side. And that'll keep that, that thing is sturdy. That thing's not going anywhere in either side. And that's what you kind of want because you don't want this thing falling over on somebody when you have a light up top here and a modifier. I have my mono light here. Like I said, that's the Flashpoint Explorer uh, 400 Pro. And it's gonna be the main light for this entire setup. This is a one light setup. And my modifier is the, this big giant Godox 36 inch 
uh, Octodome. So yeah, let's get this mounted up here. Got that locked in. Then we'll go up top here. And now we have ourselves a portable light stand. So it just, it helps out, it's convenience. That's what it's all about. Convenience saves us time, or I'm all about saving time and money. Of course, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. If you have a whole completely different setup, show me. I wanna see it, I wanna see a video on it, I wanna see photos, I wanna see all of that, please. Leave some comments down below and I wanna check out your setup. So the next convention I'm gonna be at is Planet Comic Con in Kansas City, Missouri, March 20th through the 22nd, I wanna say. Yeah, I'm most excited to go because I usually go every single year with friends and we have a good time. So if you see me out there with this setup, definitely give me a shout out, say what's up. You know what, we'll have a good time. So with that said, my name is Malcolm Eugene and this has been something for sure. Um, What's up guys? Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm posting next.